we're using Android Studio to develop our Android application. And if we look at our Android Studio about Android Studio, I'm running Android Studio version 1.51. And there's been a release, uh, a new release for Android Studio, Android Studio 2. And you can download Android Studio 2 from the Android website. But since we're in the middle of a project, you might be a bit reluctant to upgrade, but I'm gonna show you how to, and you shouldn't be worried. So we're gonna go into Android Studio, check for updates. A new Android Studio 2.1 is available in the stable channel, more info. And you get to a website that uh, gives you some more information about the updates. I was expecting uh, Android Studio to give me a window to start updating. So maybe it'll do it the second time I'd, I ask it to. So go to Android Studio, check for updates. That's better. New version 2.1.0. 2.1.0, let's hit update and restart. You can import your settings from previous version of Studio. Yes, let's import these settings. Let's check the version. Android Studio 2.1. Well, we're developing with Android Studio 2.1 now. A few of you might have worried about making that transition. But let's run our, uh, ah, it's still actually updating, so I'll come back later. I've just noticed here at the top, they wanted to let me receive upgrades over a secure connection, and it wasn't working on Java 6, so the option was disabled. And I can apparently enable it again in the settings. Let's take a look. Use secure connection, okay. Check now. Ah, so here, there are further updates. I'm glad I spotted that. I would have missed it. So let's hit update now. Accept and hit next. So I pull, pause the cut, pause and cut the video there. Uh, updates take quite a long time. So the component installer, that's updated all the components. You might want to go and make a cup of tea when you're up, upgrading. So let's hit finish. And even though the components have been upgraded down here at the bottle, you can see there are still some items that Android Studio just wants to sync. So I'm gonna cut the video again. It's just quite safe to leave Android Studio. Ooh, as soon as I said that, we've had an error. Well, it's all point and click. Gradle version 2.2 is required. Current version is 2.1. If using the Gradle wrapper, try editing the distribution URL in. Users, client, users.net, Android Studio, Project Gradle. Please fix the Project Gradle settings. Okay, well, looks like it's gonna fix it for us. And I think I'll go away and have another cup of tea while that's doing its job. Okay, so Android is uh, warning us again that uh, the, project is using, the project is using an old version of the Android Gradle plugin and to take advantage of the latest features we need to upgrade. So we can hit the release notes to have a read if you like, but uh, let's hit update. Well, it looks like Android Studio is finally updated and just to double check, let's hit Android Studio about Android Studio, Android Studio 2.1. I'm just gonna restart Android Studio. And after restarting it, again, we wanted your IDE to receive upgrades over secure connection. I thought we already did that, but uh, let's take a look. Check now. You have already latest of Android Studio installed. Okay, that's fine. It is upgraded. Let's open our project. First thing I recommend you do is open your Android virtual devices and just recreate the device. So create a new virtual device, uh, Nexus 4, Lollipop x86-64. Next, and we'll just call it, uh, well, it's appended to for us anyway. And we'll hit finish. And I'm gonna delete this old one. Why am I doing this? Uh, well, it, I read something that to take care, to take advantage of some of the new features you're meant to create a new virtual device. So, uh, let's see if our app runs in Android Studio 2. Initializing ADB, Nexus 4. That's pretty cool. We've got, uh, they've added all these new features to the emulator so you don't have to remember all those shortcut key presses I let you know about to uh, get your portraits and your landscapes and your uh, sound up and sound down. I think you'll find it pretty handy already. I think uh, I can rec definitely recommend you upgrade to Android Studio 2. And the most important question, does our app still run? Looks like it does. Well, let's check out our Sprite animation, that's lovely.
Yeah. The... Pretty impressed with that. Bit more responsive. There isn't any jerkiness when you're transitioning into the activity classes there. Intense. Great. Okay, well, I don't want this to turn into a review for Android Studio 2. Just wanted to show you that uh, you can use Android Studio 2 to follow these tutorials and that upgrading in the middle of a project isn't a big issue. And from the next tutorial, we'll carry on with the series. Thanks for watching. <laughs>